Good morning, YouTube friends and family. Traveling I-10 West today from the East Coast of Florida and kind of saying goodbye officially to the East Coast as I-10 is kind of going to be the general direction all the way to Corpus Christi, Texas in January. Although we're not going to stick to I-10, we're going to take all the scenic routes and look for campgrounds and try to stay off this highway as much as possible really, but we've got to drive about 22 miles today or something. Okay, no easy way to put this. Uh, I opened the freezer this morning and woke up to about an inch and a half of standing water in the freezer. Then I opened the fridge and saw that it was 55 degrees inside my refrigerator as well. I don't know why my fridge and freezer are failing. I still have plenty of propane. The furnace works, the stove works, everything works. I uh, just don't know. So, the plan for today is to get to a paid campground with electric hookups where we can probably throw away everything in the fridge and freezer. We'll see. Maybe not everything, but got to empty it all out, clean it all out, and then plug into power and see if maybe my refrigerator only works on power now and the propane system is just crapped out on me. Not really sure. Not getting too ahead of myself, because you never know with these kinds of things, but have to take care of that today. So Morgan's behind me in the Jeep and we're gonna go find a campground near, well, I don't even know where it is. I'll, I'll let you know when we get there, we'll see. guys made it here to the campground this is ocean pond campground on a lake we'll get more on that later uh, got a few projects I want to talk with you about uh, it's not really sunny it's kind of cloudy Morgan's working on a project there at the table we'll get to that later uh, switch the flags around something I didn't know but a lot of people were telling me that the American flag is supposed to be on the passenger side like the home country that you're in I didn't know there was a difference but thank you guys we made that change um, I'll tour the campground and talk more about the campground, but first I got to get to a little bit of bad news and I'm not stressed or anything, but I've been plugged into power here for about five hours. Fridge and freezer are still 60 degrees in there, so um, I think my refrigerator and freezer has officially crapped out. Although it does fire up, there is electric, tested the outlets, tested the voltage. Um, it's plugged into power, it's working as it thinks, and right now, I don't know if you can hear the hissing, but the flame is going for the propane. I'm going to let that go all night as well again, even though it was going all night last night. doesn't matter, it's not cooling. Not cooling at all. Um, here's where it gets tricky, and a lot of other RVers are going to understand exactly what I'm talking about. So the nearest Camping World RV facility is in Lake City from here, and I called them up today, and for some reason they think that my Good Sam membership, my gold membership, premium two-year membership, does not, no longer includes free diagnosis, whatever. Uh, they said the near, nearest time they can get me in is on February 16th of 2017, because this is peak season. Uh, called over to the next camping world that we will be visiting, which is in Panama City, Florida. He said they are booked into the spring, the end of March, they are booked to even do a diagnosis on an RV. And I kind of told them, I'm like, really dude? I mean, how do, what do you do when somebody has something go, like, like they just store their RV for two seasons until they can, until you can get them in? It's like, it's tough. It's incredibly stressful. And we are throwing away hundreds of dollars worth of food in our fridge and freezer and no idea what we're gonna do here. <laughs> um, literally. Uh, before that happened, <laughs> I was working on several other projects. One of them was working on a way to not only uh, divide the kitchen from the bedroom in the RV, but I cut up some half-inch plywood uh, that was finished and uh, uh, used some L brackets to kind of put that together. And uh, then I, put, I temporarily put a coat of gloss on it so that it'll actually 
not absorb water from the sink just in case there's some splashing. But I do want to do like a custom backsplash on it or something later. For right now, it divides the area fine. We also put our TV on the back. It's a smart TV so that we can watch Netflix or YouTube and as well as put up another board on the back window so that we can sit up against that with pillows and watch TV before we go to bed. Just kind of something nice. We don't have to sit at the dinette if we want to watch something together on TV or a movie or something. Um, that's still a work in progress, but the TV functions and everything and it works. Secondly, my sink inside has been leaking since I've had this RV and Morgan has been bugging me a lot about getting that fixed. So did go to Amazon and got a replacement sink. Probably gonna put that on here this weekend um, because I bought two nights here. I just don't know what I'm gonna do about the refrigerator. I guess we'll be eating out a lot more or doing meals that don't require, I mean, I, I, yeah. I can't stress on that, the fact that how, how depressing that is and I don't know how we're gonna fix it anytime soon. But can't do anything about that right now. We are at Ocean pond campground which is ironic because that's not an ocean and it's not a pond it is a lake <laughs> but it's a really nice campground here it is a paid campground and the only reason why we came here and didn't do like a free one because there's lots of free ones around here too is because i wanted to be hooked into power to test the fridge and i got the information i needed oh and one other thing i almost forgot to mention i got the wired lavalier mic set up now with the gopro um, just to kind of help with audio, going back to it, no problem. All of the uh, lakeside campsites were all taken here, although there are more down the loop, they are not power and electric down there. Generally speaking, um, I'm not really having a good day today, guys. I'm doing my best, I promise you, but uh, a new fridge is $1,700. I, I bought RVs for less than that cost, that complete working operating RVs for less than the cost of a new fridge. Plus I don't know how I'm gonna do the install because it won't even fit out the door. I've got a lot of things on my mind. Secondly, I'm doing laundry right here. These are really nice. They actually have card readers up here. So you just do your debit card and it's $1.50 yeah, $1. for the washer and dryer. Working on my second load of that, but not before another huge hassle with Bank of America which started last night. I was trying to get gas at a gas station, went to run my card, declined. Bank of America likes to do this mm, about every five to seven days. They just completely freeze my bank account and call it suspicious activity because I'm traveling around the country. No matter how many times I call, no matter how many times I tell them this is my life, I travel, I move. Last night was rough because it was past the time the bank was closed. There was nothing I could have done about it. I had to borrow cash to be able to put fuel in my RV. Then this morning I called them up and got it all fixed. They made me say, yeah, did you make this purchase, this purchase, this purchase? And then they throw in a fake one just to throw you off. It's like, no, I didn't make that one. <laughs> it's really weird the way they do that. Bank of America is the only bank I know that has automated systems that they won't even, they can't even do anything about it. Anyway, I uh, got about four hours into the day today and they did it again. The very first purchase I tried to make here in Florida on the washing machine froze my account again. And again, on hold for 22 minutes. Had to verify my account and then she told me that she wants me to call the bank every single day in the morning and tell her what cities I will be in throughout every single day and the time frame. And that's the way they won't freeze my account on me. It's Unfathomable. Bank of America is a flippin' joke. And it seems like they're, they've they been getting stricter as time goes on, rather than give me more freedom. I mean, it's my money. I, I don't even know. Uh, really nice uh, camp hosts here. They actually uh, brought us some firewood. There's no burn bans in Florida right now. Otherwise, the nearest place to get wood would have been Lake City. So that's awesome and good. Prices are... Um, $18 for electric and water, or if you're on the lakeside, $14 for just water, and I think $8 for just primitive camping here. Uh, but there's also, if you go on freecampsites.net, there are several absolutely free primitive uh, campgrounds nearby. There's at least four of them within like 15 miles here.
Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.